The city of Austin is a little cash strapped right now, $10 million to be exact. So now they're considering cutting everything from library hours to neighborhood pools. KXAN City reporter Reagan Hackleman joins us live from one of those pools in Hyde Park with more. Reagan? Well, hey there, Leslie. I'm standing in the middle of the pool here at Shipe Park. Now, this pool is empty right now, as is the main pool right behind me. And they're empty because, well, the pools don't open until the beginning of June. But there is a chance that next summer this pool could stay empty the entire summer long. An empty pool is not what you want to see on a hot summer day in Austin. Now, the public pool in the summertime is a... That was kind of an important thing in my mind. Yeah. This year, Hannah and her daughter won't have any trouble cooling off in the water at their neighborhood pool. Next year could be a different story. The city's Parks and Recreation Department has offered up eight pools for closure as a way to help cut almost $10 million from the 2012 city budget. But we have to go through this process and we have to lay out all the options available. Other options, APD says they can save a little more than a million dollars by delaying a cadet class by six months. Cutting hours at the Central Library in downtown Austin could save the city $100,000. And besides closing those eight pools, the Parks Department has also said they can do less park maintenance. Cutting library hours, things of that nature, cutting back on park maintenance, those things are, you know, never popular. But when you talk about prioritizing city services, you, you know, you ultimately have to decide what is your highest priority. For me, it's public safety. It's a priority Hannah shares as well. It's a recession, and, you know, I guess you just have to suck it up at times like this, and we'll deal. Now, once again, these are just potential budget cuts. Ultimately, it is up to the city council to decide what exactly gets cut from the 2012 budget. Reporting live from Hyde Park, Reagan Hackleman, KXA in Austin News.